Sheikh Hasina to hold first in-person press conference in two years. Thousands of people freshly marooned by floods as country's major rivers continue to swell. EC did not order lawmaker Bahauddin to leave the area during Kumila City poll, says CEC. Assalamu alaikum, Zawad Sharif here. Welcome you all to the news. You have just heard the headlines, so let's move on to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is set to join an in-person press conference at her office on Wednesday, the first time in two years since the COVID-19 outbreak in Bangladesh. Prime Minister's office press wing said the Prime Minister will brief about the current situation of Bangladesh. Sources also reported that Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is also set to talk about the recent floods in Bangladesh and the Podda Bridge grant opening. Journalists who are attending the conference are requested to undergo COVID-19 tests before joining. Till now, the Prime Minister attended all press conferences from our official residence, Ghanam Bhavon, while most of the journalists attended virtually from PMO. Thousands of people were freshly marooned by floods in the northern and northeastern regions as the country's major rivers, including the Brahmaputra, Jomuna, Meghna and Podda continued to swell, flowing above the danger level at many places. The Flood Forecasting and Warning Center warned that floods would spread to the country's central region today, including Tangail, Munshiganj and Shuryatpur, amid fears that the simultaneous swelling of the Brahmaputra and the Podda could prolong the flooding. The flood situation in Silet and Shunamganj remain unchanged, with hundreds of thousands of people stranded by the flooding cut off from all communications since Thursday. The Brahmaputra is flowing above the danger level at different points in Kurigram and Gaibantha districts, inundating different low-lying and chore areas Monday morning. In Kurigram, about 250,000 people of more than 200 chores and in 49 unions have been marooned. A severe food and drinking water crisis were reported from also northern parts where thousands of people have left their home for flood shelters. <laughs> The Chief Election Commissioner Kazi Habibul Awal on Monday said that the Commission did not order Kumila Six Awamilik lawmaker AKM Bahauddin Bahar to leave the area during the mayoral election in the Kumila city that was held on June 15th while addressing a press conference at the Nirbachan Bhavan in Dhaka. The CEC said that the commission did not see the lawmaker during election campaigning. The CEC also said some people alleged that Bahar was participating in elections tacti tactically. Then the EC decided to request him to leave the area to avoid any controversy. The EC even cannot ask anyone to leave their locality. He said the EC did not order him to leave the area. Rather, it requested him cordially. The CEC also rejected the allegation that a last-minute phone call changed the election result in Kamila City. Actor telephone is respond to fill up all part here. Actor box to bo ashe. In to first me apna thei booste hobe. Je actor mare shesh murte actor telephone box to bo palte jai. Ita actor mare yo ashan bo kau ke kono shadharon lok kyo tar elaka tag korar adhesh tite pare na. Evong amra ho jena bahut din ke. Ferry movement on the Shimulia Majirkandi route has resumed after eight hour suspension to avert any untoward incident due to strong currents in the Podda River. The ferry movement resumed at 5.30 a.m. on Monday. According to the Majirkandi office of the Bangladesh Inland Water Transport Corporation, BIWTC, the currents on the river started increasing on Sunday evening. At 10 p.m., the authorities decided to suspend the ferry services. Meanwhile, more than 400 vehicles, including passenger buses, got stuck in the Majir Ghat area due to the suspension of ferry services. Passengers, drivers and vehicle workers had to wait for hours in the rain for the resumption of the ferry services. Two Rohingya people were killed in a collision between a covered van and a human hauler on Cox's Bazar Technaf Highway 
in Cox's Bazar Monday morning, said police. The deceased were identified as Amir Hamza and Ismat Arabegum of Uchiparang Rohingya camp in 22. The easy bike collided with the covered van near Huaikwang Techi Bridge area around 8 a.m., leaving two passengers of the human hauler dead on the spot and two others injured, said a police officer. The injured were sent to Cox Bazar Shadar Hospital, he added. The bodies were kept at the hospital morgue for post mortem examinations. At least 11 people will have died in monsoon flooding and lightning strikes in India as millions remain marooned in the country, authorities said on Monday. In India's northeastern state of Assam, three people were killed in landslides while six others died in flood waters, disaster management authorities said. Assam continued to reel under severe flooding with 5,140 villages across the state's 33 districts submerged by surging waters. More than 100,000 villagers were taking refugees in relief shelters. In neighboring Meghalaya state, at least two people have been killed on Sunday after landslides and surging rivers that submerged the roads. In the eastern state of Bihar, lightning triggered by storms killed at least 17 people, according to local disaster management, Minister Renu Devi. Less than two months after he was re-elected president, Emmanuel Macron has lost control of the French National Assembly following a strong performance by left alliance and the far right. He had called on voters to deliver a solid majority, but his centrist coalition lost dozens of seats in an election that has left French politics fragmented. The prime minister he had only recently appointed, Elizabeth Bourne, said the situation was unprecedented. A storm broke over Paris as she returned to her Matigan residence from a long meeting at the presidential Elisa Palace to say that modern France had never seen a national assembly like this one. This situation represents a risk for our country, she said. Sports news and it's cricket. Shakib al Hassan returning to the test side as captain said the early batting capitulation at the start of the test match was a defining factor in the final result. After the loss addressing the press conference, he said that one session killed the game for Bangladesh. He further said that Bangladeshi batters need to find ways to survive to stay at the wicket and get the runs. <laughs> There is a technical problem, but they have to find a way to keep the run and keep the crease. I think that if the coach is doing the captain, it's a good thing. I think that if the coach is doing the captain, it's a good thing. Before any, let's have a look on the headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to hold first in-person press conference in two years. Thousands of people freshly marooned by floods as country's major rivers continue to swell. EC did not order lawmaker Bahauddin to leave the area during Kamila City Poll, says the CEC. And that is all from the newsroom for now. To know updates and videos of this bulletin, please visit our website www.ntvbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verify Facebook page for updates of our NTV's all popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin, Shandar Krabo, will be in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Thank you for being with us and have a good time.